Hello everyone and welcome to Drug Lord Tycoon. This game is made by the same developers that gave us such classics like One Arm Cook and One Arm Robber. A quick side note before we actually get into this, I believe element 20 on the periodic table is actually calcium and element 24 is actually chromium, but who's looking into that? And without further ado, let's get right into this game. As we first get into the game, we're outside our newly acquired warehouse, which is fancy, I guess, that pile of garbage would say differently but we have four thousand dollars to our name and i'm going to show you how we're going to spend it so we're going to go inside here and we have our computer as we access the computer our first tab that we have open is the shop tab obviously this is where we're going to buy our products and our equipment to start our empire the other thing that we can buy in here is a research table which will help unlock new items as we spend our skill points as we level up from the shop tab we have the dealers tab and this tab is where we're gonna hire our dealers to help sell our product. A quick rundown of the dealers tab goes a little bit something like this. First, you have the cost to hire them. So Jeffrey, for example, costs $1,500 to hire his service. Next, you have the cut. Jeffrey's cut here is 33%. Meaning if I'm selling a product for $1,000, Jeffrey's gonna take 33% of that $1,000 as payment. And finally, we have their skill, which skill in this game right now is how fast they sell the product. But I think skill is also gonna affect if they get caught by the police when they add them into the game. So Jeffrey here has 83 skill, so he'll be able to sell our product quicker, but he's gonna take 33% of cut. Nicholas over here on the other hand has 18 skill, so he's gonna take longer and his potential cut is only 10%. So you have to balance it out. Now, obviously Darius over here has 99 skills, so he's the best, but his cut is 60% of our final product. Also, we can go into our dealers. And as you can see, we have dealer Dave. This is that strange man that's sitting outside that looks like an old school tennis player or a preppy. So at least we got ourselves a dealer that has mid skill level, but he's gonna take 20% cut. So moving on from the dealers tab, we have the real estate tab. Obviously this tab is where we can buy new real estate. We got ourselves a bigger warehouse for $20,000. We got ourselves a house for $60,000. Another warehouse for $280,000. And finally, this big warehouse in this remote area for $750,000. Now that we got all the tabs out of the way, let's actually get into playing the game and start buying our equipment. Buy ourselves a grow light. We won't need to buy a wiring cam so you can save yourself $50. Buy a drying rack. We're gonna buy six buckets for now. Buy ourselves one blue dream and buy ourselves a packaging table which will leave us with $1,000. After we got all the packages inside, this is how we're gonna set it up. We're gonna place our drying rack right over here, get our light source and place it right there and start placing our buckets around the glow light because our planters need both sunlight and water to grow. Obviously, the fundamentals. Now that all these buckets are getting 100% sunlight, we're gonna water them to give them 100% water. After doing so, we're gonna take our blue dream and plant the seeds. Also, we're gonna place our packaging table right next to our computer table, like so. Now, as we wait for these to grow, I'm gonna go over to the computer and we're gonna check the dealers tab to see if there's any good dealers that we can buy. And sure enough, we have this dealer, Wade. His cut is 16%, which is already good. His skill is 60, but it's gonna cost a thousand to hire him, but this should be good in the long run. So we're gonna hire Wade. So now that the plants are done, we're gonna place them on the drying rack. The reason why we only did six plants is because the current drying rack only holds six. Next, we'll place the next four and get these growing. And now all we gotta do is just wait for this to dry. And as you can see out here, our new acquired dealer, Wade, is right outside waiting to work. Once this is done drying, we just take it over to the packaging table and it seems like each one gives us 15. Once we do that, we go over to the packaging table and this is where we package 100 grams into each. Now we can't put 100 grams because we only have 90. So what we're gonna do is get close. So we have our different orders here. We're just gonna package until we have just enough. Like so, we have our first 90 and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our package, take it to dealer Wade since he's got 60 skill and the cuts less. So sorry, dealer Dave, you're kind of useless right now. We can also go to our dealers to see how well he's doing. Right now he's selling it. Sent us our first package for $754. And what we can actually do is buy more buckets and buy more blue dream. Now you can see in the top left corner our mission change. We need to deal 10 packages to move on to the next mission. A quick side note, you can actually place more buckets, but as you can see, it's only 80% sunlight, which will make the growing process a lot slower. As you can see, our objective is complete, and now we have to earn $5,000 to buy a research table. The good thing is when they're out selling, I can actually pre-package items, so when they come back, they have something to sell right away. And with that latest sell, we can actually buy the research table. Now, we level up six times. We should have six skill points. From here, we can see the different skill trees. As you can see, we can have drugs like LSD, mushrooms, cocaine, and ecstasy. But right now, we all we have is cannabis and meth. Meth costs 10 skill points to unlock. And right now I have six. We're not gonna get into that right now. Right now what we're gonna do is buy ourselves the planter. The next thing I would recommend buying is definitely 
the glow light level two use two points to unlock silver haze it gives us twenty dollars per gram so for the total price of two thousand dollars per package and the last thing we're gonna unlock is the drying rack for now because these drying racks can hold 10 rather than just six also if you feel up to it we can actually buy the one by four planter just to be safe so now we just gotta make enough money to unlock all these other items which we could probably do by just selling the drying racks after selling our drying rack and getting our first sale, we're going to head over to the shop and buy ourselves a new drying rack. And as you can see, compared to the old drying rack, this takes up way less space than the previous drying rack. We're going to start buying some silver haze. I'm going to buy $600 worth. We're also going to buy ourselves the new grow light. Now the new grow light, if we replace it with the old one, this will actually take up less space and should produce more light so it actually will reach the two plants that we had before and what we're going to do now is start growing some of the silver haze now the silver haze as it said it's going to take longer to grow but we'll get a little bit more profit from it and our new batch of silver haze is ready for packaging all we got to do to package silver haze is we go over to the packaging select it and now we can take the orders for silver haze now if we want to we can actually mix and match blue dream and silver haze so we can go up here and take some of these orders if we have some left over now if there's no two grams in the blue dream we can actually go to the silver haze go down here oh brett needs two grams there you go now the planters are nice because you only hit the water one spot and it waters them all i think the next path in the skill tree we're going to take is actually go down this way to unlock some of the sprinklers. I'm gonna skip ahead until we have a nice chunk of money. Okay, after a couple hours, this is the setup I'm running right now. It could be a little bit better, but I'm gonna give you the rundown. So right now we got planners of various sizes, mostly the fours and the threes. And we have one bucket back here for a grand total of 100 plants. And right now I have seven driving racks for a grand total of 70 spaces, which is not enough. But right now we have over $30,000 and we can make a little bit more space. What I'm gonna recommend doing is actually going over here, go into the real estate and we're gonna buy this property for 20,000. Once we bought that, what we're gonna do is go to the research table and we're gonna sell this. So this is gonna free up more space for more drying racks. Next, what we're gonna do is visit the newly acquired warehouse. As you can see, this is our new warehouse, much more spacious, a lot bigger than before. So what we're gonna do now is actually come over here and buy the research table. This way, when we need to upgrade, we go to that warehouse and at our starter warehouse, we have more space to work with. Another thing I forgot to mention when you buy a new warehouse is you have to hire new dealers and the maximum amount of dealers that you can have is six. So that's why I'm always saying, make sure to check the dealers for good deals. So right now we have six skill points that we could spend. And I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually skip this fan because there's a better fan down here that we can get. We're gonna spend two on the homemade sprinkler. We're gonna buy ourselves the two by three planter for one point. And we're gonna buy this garden sprinkler. And we have one point left. Now there's nothing to spend it on because what we wanna get to is down here. We wanna get to the purple kush because that's $40 a gram. Now we're gonna head back to the starter and sell some more and since we got some new planters we're gonna change up our setup and i'll show you that just in a minute okay after that jump cut you're probably asking questions like bread why are you level 33 why do you have over four hundred thousand dollars? and why do you have 14 hours of gameplay and i ask you the question why is the sky blue and why is one of the dealers just a floating head long story short as i was recording thor the god of thunder himself was outside my house just making so much noise throwing lightning bolts and i lost power and all that footage is lost forever but other than that, I'm going to show you a rundown of what you all missed. So as you saw before, this is what we unlocked and this is the route I went. The grow light level two so we can get the silver haze and so we can get the drying rack. Next, I came back over here, got the planter and I came all the way down here to get the sprinkler and to get the purple kush. After that, I bounced back over here to get the grow light and to get the industrial fan. And finally, I went with the two planters to get more space and we finally unlocked the workers. And after unlocking the cannabis worker and the cannabis stalker, a new tab has opened up in the computer called the workers tab, which we can hire both these workers. An update to our dealer situation, as you can see, we have a lot of people that have low cuts and their skill is above 90, except Colin here. Colin, his cut is 19, which is all right, but his skill is only 85. We can do better. Next up, I'm gonna give you a tour of the warehouse. We have 104 plants right now in this warehouse alone. And then in this corner, we have eight drying racks for a grand total of 80 spots that we can use to dry off weed. Yes, that won't cover all the weed, but we have these industrial fans. So for this fan, we have it in the middle. So it's actually affecting these two and these two right there. This one is also affecting these two just in case. And this one is the best one. This one is hitting the middle one and then you can see the left one here it's barely hitting but it's affecting that one and the top one there it's barely hitting that but it's affecting that one and because of this this will make the weed dry faster and by the time we're done picking the fans have already dried off these three so then we can just take it like so 
and just place it into our packing station. And the weed that we're working with right now is the purple kush weed, which is the most expensive weed in the game, which is $40 a gram for a grand total of 4,000 per package if we get 100 grams in a package. So this is what all these boxes are out here. Unless the cops come by, then I'm just selling Nikes. And then what we could do is just sell them right to the dealers and they'll go sell our products for us. I can show you a tour of the warehouse when it's empty. As you can see, we have a couple of these two by fours in the corner here. We also have buckets behind these bright lights, which are the level threes, which cover every plant to 100%. And we got some sprinklers. All the sprinkler placements hit every spot so we don't have to worry about watering. The next section we're gonna talk about are the workers. So I'm gonna go over to our warehouse that we acquired earlier. First up, let's get this warehouse all situated and we'll skip ahead to when we do that. Okay, this is the before and after. As you can see, we spent almost $140,000 on this new build. As you can see, we have 10 drying racks for a total of 100, but we also have 16 two by sixes for a grand total of 192 plants. I also hired three workers, two cannabis workers and one cannabis stalker. Scale is pretty good except the cannabis stalker. Cannabis workers are 94 each and I'm paying them $1,000 a day, so that's $3,000 a day. I also got this restocker station. It can tell me items to restock. We'll just do this to enable that. And it seems to not be working. Do I need to? Oh, oh, that shelving right here. I need to actually order one of these. I need to rearrange this. Huh? What are you doing? What? Where did that come from? Don't I have disabling restocking? What are they planting? Silver haze. They're planting silver haze. That is not good. Okay, I think I understand the workers. So we hired ourselves six new workers to help tend the fields. This stalker over here, this is how his job works. First, you need a shelving and then you need to tell him what to restock. So in this case, these two I don't want stocked and this one I want in stock. So first off, they're all gonna be green. You just wanna click the button and it'll start stocking the shelf for the workers to start planting. So all he gets to do is just sit here all day and earn $1,000 a day. Doesn't seem fair, right? So what do the cannabis workers do? Well, they tend the fields, they water them, but I got sprinklers up so they don't have to worry about that. And also they bring it to the drying station, take it from the drying station and put it into my packing station. So all I gotta do is just pack it up and sell it to the dealers. And you can just watch the level bar keep going up higher and higher as they work. Also while I was at it, I bought the house real estate and this is what it looks like inside. A little bit of upstairs and a little bit of downstairs. Is there a pizza on top of the house? No, missed opportunity. If you want to see another video on Drug Lord Tycoon, maybe I'll do a separate video talking about the meth. But so far, this is what this game all has to offer. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you want to see more videos of Drug Lord Tycoon, let me know in the comment section below. I might do a separate video for all the different real estates and also the meth side of things and also the different drugs that come out later on. If you want to see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you want to see more tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.